Hi, my name is Ann Cafesso Ercolini, and I work at the Somerville Public Library. I'm sure a lot of you know me. And one of my favorite things to do is to tell stories. And I tell stories for SCAT TV on Channel 3, so you can check it out there or you can check it out online. I'd love you to watch some stories or come to the library and listen to some stories here in the library live. All right, do you know which ones will grow? We'll see if you know everything that grows. If you look around, you'll see. Some things grow like you and me. Do you know which ones will grow? Some, some things stay the same. And they're, they're made until they crack or they rust or they fade. So let's see if the answer is you or yes or no. Okay, so think yes or think no, okay? If a duckling grows and becomes, what, a duck, can a car grow and become a truck? Are you sure you never saw a car grow into a truck? No. No. Very good guessing. No is right. Okay, if this little cub grows and becomes a, a bear, can this stool grow and become a chair? Are you sure that little stool can't be a chair? No. All right. You're right again. This is a hard one. If a kitten grows, and becomes a cat. Does it? Does a kitten grow into a cat? Yeah. Yep. You see this cap? Can that grow? No. Oh, but it could become a hat. Yeah. Did it grow into a hat? No. No, no it can't grow. Can that crap cap grow? No, no Paw Patrol's not gonna grow. All right. If a kid grows, this is a kid and becomes a goat. That's a goat. Yeah. Can this sweater grow? No. But wait, maybe it's going to become a coat. No. Can that sweater grow into a coat? No. Oh, that's silly. Okay, if this little owlet grows and becomes this big owl, can a wash crop? Wash cloth grow? No. You didn't heal yet what it's going to grow into. Maybe it's going to become a towel. No. Are you sure? No. You never saw a wash cloth grow into a towel? No. no. Yeah, right. All right. So, yes to bears and owls, they grow? No. Yes, they do. No to trucks and chairs and towels, right? No. Yes to cats? No. Yes to goats, right? Yes. No to hats? No. And no to coats. If a calf grows and becomes a cow, cow. uh-oh, can a shovel grow? No. Well, you don't know what yet, though. Can a shovel grow and become a plow? No. No, it doesn't grow. Okay. If this little snakelet grows <coughs> and becomes a snake, oh, this is a fun one. Can a cupcake grow? No, it can grow into a cake. It can grow into a cake. No, no, you, did, you never saw a cupcake grow into a cake? No. I didn't do that. I was trying to fool you. Okay, no, I didn't. I never fool you. If a piglet grows, this little piglet, and becomes a pig, can a pickup truck grow and become a big rig? No. If a kit grows and becomes a fox, can a watch grow? 
Can this watch of mine grow and become a clock? Are you sure? It can't. No. You're right. So let's see. If this Joey grows, see the little baby kangaroo? If a Joey grows and becomes a kangaroo, can a baby grow and become you? Yes. Yeah, right. It can. So, yes to cows? Cows grow? Yes. How about yes to snakes? Do snakes grow? Yes. How about this plow? No. No to plows. No to cakes? Or yes to cakes? No. no. How about yes to pigs? Yes. Yes. How about to the fox? Yes. Yes. How about to rigs? What about two clocks? Clocks grow? No. 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 Yes to a jumping kangaroo. Yes to a living, growing you. And that's the end. All right, well, let's see what happens with Foxy and Egg. Are you ready? Ready for stories? Okay, here we go. Of all the suspicious-looking houses in all the deserted woods in all of the world, he had to roll up to hers. Who's he? Foxy. No, what's this little thing? It's a little tiny egg, and he rolled up to Fox's house. Well, Foxy Dubois was utterly charming and always so kind to strangers. So she invited that little egg in for a bite to eat. While Foxy skipped off into the kitchen, Egg rocked and rolled around the grand house. You have some interesting paintings, shouted Egg, but Foxy wasn't listening. She was too busy cooking up Perfectly cunning plan. Foxy wanted the biggest, the most delicious egg to eat. So she put one of her conniving plans into action. She was going to fatten egg up. When dinner was served, it was a very splendid affair. Egg wobbled with excitement. Everything looked so delicious. Foxy wanted a nice big egg, but she also wanted a fit egg. So after dinner, she put part two of her devious plan into action. So they played games. They had an egg and a spoon race in the hallway, and they played hide and seek in the library, followed by musical chairs in the drawing room. They sound like they're having fun. At the end of the night, Egg was in a complete spin. It had been a delightful evening, but she needed to rest her weary shell. You simply must stay over, said Foxy. I have something even more wonderful planned for breakfast. Look at Egg with a little hat on. She's going up to bed. As Egg snuggled down in his cozy bed, Foxy spent the night dreaming eggy dreams. Foxy looks very happy. There were scrambled eggs and fried eggs and poached eggs and baked eggs and best of all, soft boiled eggs and toast. But when Foxy Dubois awoke the next morning, she was in for a shock. What do you think happened? <gasps> During the night, something had changed. Egg was a fragile little thing no more. Egg was enormous. Look at the size of Egg. Foxy rubbed her, yep, Foxy rubbed his hands with glue. Her crafty plan had worked. It was going to be a big, big, big breakfast. But just then, Egg started to crack, 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 and Foxy 
licked her lips. Mmm, crack, crack. She licked her lips some more. Mmm. Then with one final crack, Foxy saw what was inside. You think she was going to eat it? <gasps> Good morning, said Alfonso wickedly. Am I in time for breakfast? Look at Foxy. Foxy got very scared. And guess what she did? Foxy ran away. She did not get to eat the egg. And that's the end. The very quiet cricket. And guess what? I need your help to tell this story. So do you guys know how a cricket makes noise? They rub their wings together like this, and it makes that pretty sound. So I need you to help me tell the story. So can you do this? Rub your wings together and help me, OK, when I tell you to. All right? All right. Because you're going to try to make Cricket talk, because he's very, very quiet. Ready? One warm day, from a teeny, tiny egg, a Cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. This little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunch, crunched a worm munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebub slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched the cicada clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word about a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. And the luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. And she, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. 
And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Is that a pretty sound? Did you ever hear a cricket on a hot summer night when you're in bed? Some night when it's really, really hot and you're in your bed, stay very quiet and very still and listen. And you might hear a cricket do just this noise. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Okay. You have this at home? And this is called... This is called a donkey. This story is called an elephant. Press here. How did you know there was no elephant in this story? Because there's a dot, no elephant on the cover, right? All right, so it's called press here. Shall we start? All right. Okay. Look at all those dots. What color are those dots? Yellow, red, and blue. Red and blue. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen in this story. Okay, ready? It says, ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's see if you're ready for this story. Okay. Press here and turn the page. All right, I'm going to do it. Should I? Yeah. All right. Should I press hard or very gently? Now it says, turn the page. Oh, look what I did! I, I think I'm a magician. I made two dots out of one, didn't I? All right, great. Now, press the yellow dot again. Should I do it? Yes. I don't think I did anything. I think on the next page is still going to be... magic here I think all right perfect now it tells me to rub rub the dot on the left very gently Is that gently it says just one oh! I turned it red all right well done and now it tells me to Rub the one on the right very gently. Should I do it? Yes. Let me see. Very gently. Doing it gently. I don't think any, nothing's going to happen. What color did I turn that dot? I turned it blue. Okay, now it says fabulous. Five quick taps on the yellow one. All right, you count. Make sure I do five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think anything's going to happen. Do you? Okay. And now, <clears throat> five taps on the red one. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five. I don't know what's going to happen now. I can't even imagine. Oh! Uh-oh, and finally, five taps on the blue. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What if I did six? No, I think I better just do five, right? I think I'm a magician. You think I am? Yes. All right. Now it says perfect. That's perfect. Try shaking the book just a little. All right. I'm going to shake it. Ready? Nothing's going to happen. Oh! I made it a little messy. Not bad, but maybe I should shake it a little bit harder. Ready? All right. 
They'll be the same. Oh, all over the place. Yes. All right, there, well done. Now, tilt the page to the left, just to see what happens. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, they all went down there. And then to the right, a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, they all moved down that end. Excellent. Now, shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. Should I shake it and make it nice and neat again? Yes. All right. Okay. I hope it moves back. Oh! Perfect. I shook it just enough. Hmm. That's very interesting. Try pressing down really hard on all of the yellow dots. All right. Make sure I get all of the yellow dots, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It told me just... Oh! What happened? That's funny. Turn those lights back on. Try pressing them all again. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I hope I turn them back on. Oh, but I turned them all different colors again. Perfect. Hold on. Two of those dots seem to have switched places. But which ones? Does anybody know which ones switched places? Where? Yeah. These two right here? Yep, they swapped places. Now, press hard on all the dots, really hard. All right, here I go. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I pressed as hard as I could. Let's see. Oh! I turned the lights out again. Not bad. It says not bad, but shake them up a little. So I'll shake. Oh! Pretty, isn't it? You think that's pretty? All right. Try blowing on them to get rid of the black. Everybody give a little blow. All right, let's see how you did. Let's see if you got rid of the black, okay? You think you did? Yeah. Oh, almost. Almost. Hmm. Maybe you should blow a little bit harder. I hope you did it this time. Oh, you blew it. You guys blew everything away. Stop blowing so hard. Oh, oh, oops. Whoops, you blew them away. That might have been a little bit too hard. Well, stand the book up straight, it says, to make those dots drop again. Let's see. I'm holding it straight up. Ah. There you go. They look perfect. Now, guess what you have to do. They look pretty good. Clap your hands once. Just one time. Let's see what you did. You might be a magician too. Oh! What did you do with that clap? What did that clap do? You made them bigger again. All right. Whoa! Maybe we should try clapping two times. One, two. I don't think anything happened, but that's okay. <laughs> you guys, how about if we clap three times? One, two, three. Nothing. Ah! Wow. All right.
right, clap some more. Look, look at what your clapping does. Your clapping made them huge. Whoa, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Whoa, wow. More, 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 more. Oh, too loud. Quick, press the white dot. Let's see, what, I, what did I do? Oh, yes. bravo! Yes. Want to do it all over again? Yeah. Back to the beginning, this way. And that's the end. You guys are magicians, I think. You're not? Well, every time you clapped it, the, the dot get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? Right? Yeah. All right. So that's the end of our stories. Now, do, would you like to turn around? Just turn around and look the other way. And you can say, do you want to sing Pearly Shells again? Or you just want to say hello? All right. Let's do Pearly Shells. Are you ready? Pearly Shells. Pearly shells from the ocean, from the ocean, shining in the sun, shining in the sun, covering the shore, covering the shore. When I see them, when I see them, my heart tells me that I love you more than all those little pearly shells pearly shells excellent job you guys now say a big hello to your moms and your dads and everybody you love say hello and wave and say goodbye